Hello everybody and welcome to this video about Drake Fire Chasm. Drake Fire Chasm is a roguelike game. In this video I'll be showing you the green dragon abilities and the final level. As you can see I pretty much used the same build as I used in my previous videos. I tried to get as much stamina as I could, but I only managed to get 18. It would have been much better if I had 20 stamina, because then I would have gotten an additional point of strength and willpower. The green dragon abilities that I chose was Stinking Cloud. If you look at this ability, you will see that it is very strong. It does uh, the most damage of any ability in the game, and it does it effectively against all enemies. The downside, however, of this ability is that it takes 10 turns to do its damage. So this is a damage over time ability. One other great thing about this skill is that it has a medium cooldown, which means it can be used more frequently than some of the other abilities in the game. The second Green Dragon specific ability that I'm going to choose is Noxious Vapors. This ability fills the level with poisonous gas and this means that uh, enemies take 36% more damage from all sources and this lasts 20 turns. So that's pretty good. That's just an additional 36% on everything. So let's take this and let's uh, let's go to the final level, shall we? I think as an opener, I'm going to use uh, the stinking cloud, just simply because this will uh, allow me to put some damage down. so I can start killing stuff it looks like the level isn't very open so I have a lot of cover this is a bit unexpected and I'm guessing that this is going to make it a lot easier so instead I'll open with uh, Noxious Vapors to increase my overall damage output. And then I'll just uh, lay down the cloud. some basic bump attacks so I can uh, use by to heal oh, something strange happened I'm not sure what happened but it appears that he healed so I'm gonna use uh, trample instead I'm gonna try and get this priest because I'm guessing that the priest must be somehow responsible for this so I hope I can kill it. Yes, that was successful. So I managed to heal. And there's another priest. And I guess I better try to kill it. Let's see which orbs I have. Invisibility, healing, Yeah, I have like um, four invisibility orbs. That's a bit ridiculous. I guess uh, there is no way that I can lose. So let's try to get at this priest. Stab the death knight a few times. He's dead. I 
can't really get at the priest right now, which is kind of annoying. actually failed to kill the death knight so I didn't heal. That's a bit of an accident. So I guess I'll just use my invisibility orb and just kill everything. down the cloud another time. This is pretty much gonna finish off most of these and I think there's still a priest hiding somewhere but I'm not sure where he is. Now I'm going to use trample to do damage to all the enemies around me. I think I killed most of them. As you can see, invisibility is quite overpowered. like you know um, three more of these so I could be invisible for 30 turns or something I think and you can still attack while invisible so that makes it very easy and that's the end of the game <laughs>